Hey guys, it's Victoria. I really don't know how to start a vlog, but I'm gonna try this whole vlogging thing after so many years and just go with it. So today is April 24th, 2018. In a couple hours, I will be heading to the airport and going on my flight to China. Last time I went to China, I was around 12 or 13. I'm really excited. I have all my stuff packed and I'm still not really used to this whole vlogging thing. It's weird because I watch YouTubers almost every single day and it looks so easy, but it's not. Let's just see how this goes and uh, I'll be heading to the airport now. security and now I'm just waiting for my 1.30 a.m. flight. China is 12 hours ahead of Toronto so according to my calculations if I plan this out properly I could prevent my jet lag. I was thinking if I could stay up from now until around 8 a.m. Canadian Toronto Eastern Standard Time. If I fall asleep at that time on the plane by the time I wake up it'll be around the morning time in China and hopefully everything can turn out right if I don't fall asleep when I board the plane. just got off the plane and I'm gonna wait for a, a bus, I guess, to get to the airport. It's actually so hot. I think it's 20 degrees Celsius. Let's go. I just got my bags. Now I'm gonna go on a connecting flight to Guiyang. Everything is so extravagant here. Wow. I'm at a lounge right now and they have all this food that I'm gonna try out. You know how Americans think it's weird that Canadians have milk in a bag? Well, China has them in juice boxes. This is Smurfable yogurt. There's a massage chair in this lounge and in China everywhere there are QR codes go on to WeChat and then you press the scan button and you scan the code until it detects it and then you press this and you turn the massage chair on Whoa, <laughs> it's a preparing itself. 
Oh, I should probably have sat in it first. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's tickling my feet. Okay, and that's how you turn the massage chair on using the QR code and WeChat. After I got off the 15 hour flight, I had to run through the airport through security and everything and get my check luggage and then re check in because I'm going to go on a flight in an hour or so to Guiyang, which is a city in the Guizhou province. I've never been there, I've never heard of it until recently. I have to go on another two hour flight, so I'm probably gonna fall asleep there. Finally settled down here in Guiyang, Guizhou. I am in my own hotel room because one of the shushus, one of the uncles who my dad knows, he hooked us up with two separate hotel rooms. Although we, I could have just lived with my dad if we had separate beds, but I think they only had these. So I get my own room. I am just settled down here in China finally. A 15 hour flight with another 2 hour flight from Guangzhou to Guiyang. And then I had some food that was, was very spicy. <laughs> Go home to eat. It was the spiciest meal I've had in my life. Also, if you're wondering if the reverse jet lag thing worked, right now it's around 2.30 p.m. in China and it would be 2.30 a.m. in Canada where I would have been asleep. But right now I'm actually pretty awake and I'm not sleepy yet. So hopefully I reversed the jet lag before I even got here. And when I fall asleep here, hopefully I can adjust my sleep schedule. We'll just have to see if I can stay awake for the next few hours. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.